You're at the range and you're ready to side in your thermal scope. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the one shot zero function on your Kronos ATS Pro thermal rifle scope. If you follow all the steps correctly, you're only going to need one shot to side in your new Kronos ATS Pro thermal rifle scope, saving you both time and money. Today, we're going to be using the Kronos ATS Pro 5640 thermal rifle scope. Now, if you have a 35P, a 25P, or one of our clip ons, the process is going to be very similar. Your menu or your buttons may differ slightly, but the logic is still the same. For the sake of showing the concept as simply as possible, we're going to use a digital mock-up to show you guys how this process works instead of using a live target. All right, this is a really quick and easy process. To start, we're going to hold down the menu button, and that's going to access our long menu. So it's a long press to access the longer menu. In that longer menu, you're going to see an option called zeroing settings. You're going to navigate on the 5640 by rotating the menu knob. We're going to navigate over to zeroing options, and then we're going to select it and then choose our appropriate zeroing distance. For most people, this is gonna be 50 yards. That usually is about the right distance for most thermal setups. It gives you a good muzzle point blank range. So we're at the range and we've taken a shot. We have one bullet on our target. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna align the crosshair of this rifle scope to our bullseye, our original point of aim. And once we do that, we're gonna rotate the menu knob on the first option there. That's the freeze frame. That's gonna freeze the image at this point. Once it's frozen, you can move the gun around. It doesn't matter, everything's already locked in. And from there, we're going to use the menu knob again to adjust the X axis and the Y axis independently. In this example, our shot is impacted a little high and a little to the left. So we've, we've gotten our freeze frame set. Our reticle was on the bullseye. As we adjust the X value, you're gonna see a cursor left behind where your point of aim was, and now you're able to move the reticle over to match your point of impact. So again, you're doing the X and Y axis independently. Go ahead and set your X axis, get it pretty well lined up, and then go back to your Y value and line it up. If you need to make small, fine adjustments, you can navigate between X and Y. Just make sure you do that before you hit confirm. Your reticle should now be centered on your point of impact. Go ahead and rotate the menu knob, until you come down to the confirm option at the bottom. You're gonna go ahead and hit the menu button again and that's gonna confirm it and exit it. You're done, that's it. With one shot, you can have your Kronos ATS Pro zeroed and ready for the hunt. One more thing I'd like to note, if you sight in at 50 yards and you're happy with that muzzle point blank range, great. Now, if you're the type of fellow that wants to sight in at 100 but you want your bullet to impact a little bit high, you can use the Athlon Ballistics app to set a zero offset function for this ballistic profile. And that's gonna give you the ability to manipulate your muzzle point blank range for your caliber or your setup. For more information on the Kronos ATS Pro Thermal Rifle Scope line, check out athlonoptics.com. Thanks for watching. Athlon, ridiculously good optics.